Hi! Welcome to GoFlex Traffic YouTube channel, where we post videos about driving and travel. We are a driving school located in Copenhagen, and we teach in both Danish and English. This video in particular is in English to accommodate non-Danish speaking viewers. If you are an international watching this, welcome to Denmark. And welcome to driving in Denmark. If you find this video informative and helpful, please hit that subscribe button, give this video a like, and feel free to share with your friends who may need it too. Disclosure. All content is presented for educational, general reference and informational purposes only. The video is not intended to be a full and exhaustive explanation and guarantee of the driving test route as the test driving routes may be varied by test examiners without prior notice. Thank you for watching this video. Today we will show you another route here in Kastrup, which we will say it's quite difficult. And that's why we, will, we hope that this video will be helping you to pass your driving practical test in case you come out for to have to drive this route. Let's get started. Remember, after the, some technical questions from the examiner, that you can watch our other videos about the lights and tires. There will be a link below. Then the driving test will start. And then remember to put the car in gear, remember the seat belt, and then your verification. So let's do that. Seat belt on, pressing the brake pedal, putting the car on D for drive in this automatic car. And the route will be the same. If it's a manual car, it will not be different route, so it will be the same. All right. Checking behind and then giving turn signal to the right. And we are turning right here at the first road. So the starting point is very similar that you have probably seen in our other driving test route from Kestrup. So the starting point will be very similar. Going to the highway will be will be the one of the first things that they will be checking you in. And what else is there coming on this? new well not new route but the different route here in castro will be that you'll be tested quite a lot in narrow roads narrow roads and give away right hand duty so that can be a little challenging and and also intersections with poor visibility is also coming up on this on this video and school areas and uh, right reversing around the corner is one of the maneuvers that we will be showing you on this video the right reverse anyways back to the driving here the traffic the light traffic light is red which means you can ignore the yield sign the yield sign only applies if the traffic light was not working all right, turning to the right, checking cyclist and pedestrians all clear and let's go. Speed up always after a turn, don't drive unnecessarily too slow. Up here we'll be turning left, check behind mirror and shoulder, okay, mirror and shoulder like that. And then you can see there are two lanes turning left, always keep furthest right of these two left turning lanes which is also very important that while you're turning left when the light goes green keep right there's a lot of signs coming up on your left side let's have a little look already so we have the highway sign 130 kilometers an hour we have the lane merging sign lane merging okay so make sure to now check behind mirror and then over your shoulder okay more signs warning dangerous bend recommended 40 so let's let's reach that you can it's safe to reach around the, the 40 here it's, it's quite a sharp bend though but 40 around 40 would be okay 
So you're on a highway so in Denmark, the maximum speed limit on highway. How much was that? 130. Yeah, that's true. But in most of the Copenhagen, they will limit the speed to 110 and let's have the sign up in front here. But it's true that in Denmark on highway, it's 130. So we are giving signal for the lane merging. All right. On a highway, try to reach the 110. Try not to drive less than that in case there is too much traffic in front. So here, I think the car in front is going slightly slower. So let's overtake, check behind mirror and shoulder, change lane and overtake the car on the right. You are not allowed to go over the speed limit, also not while overtaking. But is your speed going slightly over, like up to 10%, then it will count as a mistake for your driving test. So not really a fail, but a minor mistake. Okay, next exit, Tonby. You will get told to exit in 500 meters. Give your signal, turn signal to the right approximately 200 meters before. So that's what we are doing now, giving the uh, turn signal to the right. Okay, and you can slow down more when you are already on this exit lane. So what is the speed limit on this exit lane? Quickly, we don't have that much time. Please. 50. Yeah, so 50 is starting after that sign. So when you're leaving the, the uh, exit lane, you can keep it appropriate speed, but you find safe. But then after that sign, the store Kuppenhaun, it's maximum 50. We are turning right once exiting the highway. Turn right, there's turn signals also on the traffic light as you can see the arrows and it's now green so we can go. Keep right after every turn if unless you got told to turn left. So on this route we are not turning left so keep right. Okay traffic light coming up and after this traffic light they'll be coming a bit complicated roundabout uh, with traffic lights and there'll be signs signs on top really soon like traffic signs information signs and the only direction you will get told will be that follow the sign saying Köpenhaun Sonbu Köpenhaun Sonbu. Okay, so in that case, you can you shall keep right of these two lanes. Keep right, but don't exit on the first one further ahead because that will be not Köpenhaun. It will be Kastrup. But you got told to continue to Köpenhaun and Sonbu signs. So we will show you here. Uh, that you should position yourself on the right. Keep right in the roundabout, but just don't exit. Don't turn right, but keep right. So, okay, light is going green and we are moving. And then watch this. So the white car will probably be going. Yeah, the pro white car is exiting. You should not do that, okay? Continue over here, slightly left continuing the roundabout. Give your turn signal because you are leaving this roundabout. Okay, look at the speed sign. 60. So we shall speed up. Okay, let's go to 60. Traffic light, we are reducing speed a little bit. Yeah, just to be ready to stop and then back to 60 again. Every time you approach a green traffic light, make sure to slow down. Um, 
like reduce your speed slightly okay so that you're ready to stop this traffic light we are turning right the sign is telling you 60 is finishing so a new speed limit will be starting which normally will be 50 kilometers an hour but but do check already now on your on the side road if there are any signs it's good to plan ahead okay that's what driving is all about it's uh, it's about planning ahead like being two steps ahead in your in your driving it's it's just it's more safe also look at these parked cars okay so let's do the check up mirror and then the mirror and then the shoulder and then move okay and then back again to the right mirror and shoulder okay perfect but as you can see there are even more parked cars so if there was a lot you could have stayed in the middle um, so we are now checking again check check okay a lot of head and shoulders here and then check, check. Okay. and speed up also because uh, the road here is it's quite not that narrow although we have now an oncoming car but you have the right of way here because they have the obstacles so we will speed up now to 40 45 super because there is an intersection coming up and this intersection you'll get told to turn left at Ireland not that we are in Ireland but these the roads here are just called like that look at this super poor visibility we can almost not see anything okay it's coming a car from the right so what do you do when you have this poor visibility you move yourself not the car move yourself like this and then slightly go and then go for it when you see no one okay because otherwise you won't be able to to see clearly 40 recommended rectangle sign speed bump turn right here at Gulden Race Y and check the cyclist behind. Perfect. All clear. Road construction already from the beginning. So drive cautiously. Especially if there was people working on this road. You should drive even slower, uh, around 30. The next road is uh, is coming up where they will be ch checking you for your right hand duty. Okay, so check cyclists and get as close as possible to the right side okay so we have the right hand duty coming up here and also one of the maneuvers that they will ask you to do to perform and there will then be the right reverse but let's check the right hand duty first always check cyclists behind first yeah and then right hand duty remember the the mafia look while the car is moving you shall be checking Okay, so show it, mark it, mark it, mark it. Here you'll be get told to stop your car on the right side of the road. Stay close to the curb, but, but don't hit. Okay. This is now one of the maneuvers that is coming up that you will be doing here. So performing here. So let's put the, we are holding the brake pedal and then we will push the stick up to reverse okay reverse this is your confirmation reverse great let's have a little look here at the screen here you can see the uh, the corner behind that you will be asked to to reverse so we are now starting before we start also we shall we shall check both sides for for cyclists okay all the all the mirrors and the shoulder okay so really show that you are checking okay like like this all right it's clear once you have checked and you did not move yet um, you need to check again because one verification is valid only for one second so if you did not take any action in that second one second and means that you must check again let's have a little look at the screen okay so we are now reversing around the corner this screen is just to help you out on this video but remember that they will not allow you to only look at the cameras while you're doing it so you must check your side mirror 
let's have a look at the mirror also yeah combination with the mirror and uh, the screen here so that you can get the understanding of what is going on here stay close to the curb while reversing get parallel with the curb and keep going until the examiner say stop okay so normally they want you to reverse back approximately three to five length of of cars so three to five cars length so we will we will keep going keep going and approximately here they will say now stop and let's continue so remember to put the d for drive d for drive new checkup mirror and then the shoulder like this give turn signal left and then start you will also get told to turn left here but don't forget you still have to check the traffic now from both sides but it's only the right hand duty that applies here so those from your left should stop for you but never expect that they will stop but they should up here turn right the surface difference here there are elevation which means is it right hand duty or absolute duty right. Bam, well. yeah so this is absolute duty poor visibility on your left side move yourself check check and go all right speed up and as you remember this road had some road construction so we are not going too fast now we'll be driving like around 30 35 because of all this construction don't worry about sudden right hand duties once you have turned already here on this big bigger road because the side road here is crossing this elevation um, and everyone who is crossing this elevation will have absolute duty to give way okay up here is the one called Ama Lenivai. you will get told to turn left so we are now about to turn left here over a pavement here the elevation so we have a duty to give way don't block for cyclists but you can it's okay to move all the way up to the pedestrian uh, pavement here the footpath now let's look at the right side it's almost blind right i mean you can almost not see a thing so do your best and lift yourself up okay like elevate yourself not only uh, your car so even uh, yourself so that you can see okay clear from the right and then it's getting clear from the left also super super bad 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 place to to take you guys here because it is so hard to see but of course you need to show that you can perform these difficult situations also but it's very difficult another very difficult is a right turn coming up on the traffic light it's the second traffic light look at this it's a bus lane over here don't change lane okay so the second traffic light is where the cyclist is now the first cyclist that's where you're about to turn right it's super tough here because you would think that this is your turning lane so it's not right now wait until you pass the first traffic light and then look behind mirror and then shoulder and then you give you shall give the turn signal and position yourself all the way to the right in your right turning lane so we are turning right and then second traffic light here okay going into the turning lane now how do you position on these right turns when there are bicycle lanes is these dotted lines get parallel with these dotted lines now we are parallel let's check behind okay there's a cyclist but he's not moving so it seems clear so let's go yeah well then he started to move but it's still safe because the cyclist was fine look at this horrible road super narrow um, recommended speed 30 and don't forget just because it says max yeah well this sign is a little misleading so never use the screen here to look at the speed limit um, but the sign out there you have to follow that one don't follow the cars so technology nowadays they can fail but you have to follow your signs on the road and he was saying maximum 30 on a rectangle sign so it's 
don't forget it's, it's still a recommended sign even though it says max all these side roads here will have unconditional duty to give way but you will have parked cars so check behind head and shoulders <laughs> look at this the shark teeth on the side road up here you will get to told to turn left at Gregenlandsvai then you can think something good about Greece maybe that you're in Greece and it might make you relax sunny beach good food okay I'm getting hungry now <coughs> all right uh, left turn here again quite horrible so narrow oh we have an oncoming cyclist should we wait or should we go if you're not sure about the distance we recommend you to stay and then go after the cyclist but you must check behind head and shoulder another cyclist did approach we can still have a safe sight distance is approximately half to one meter that you shall have sight distance to the cyclist in general try not to stay behind the cyclist if it's possible and if it's legal overtake cyclist absolute duty to give way you are look at the sign ahead normally you're not allowed to enter but the sign is saying the round one it's saying um, it's only for old diesel cars that did not have any particle filter is are not allowed to continue so this is not you in this case if you're driving this car for your driving test it is safe and approved for the environment so you can continue right you must not ask the examiner what shall I do because you are allowed to continue good so let's go so that's that sign does not apply to you while driving this car at least okay one one more maneuver is coming up but before that we have a right hand duty to obey here mafia look okay continue like check behind cyclist look at these signs are we allowed to park our cars here after the sign yeah. it's a question okay i think you need to learn some more theory classes we have unlimited classes at goflex traffic you're welcome to join but the sign was saying no parking but stopping is allowed for two to three minutes so we are now stopping for less than two to three minutes because this is here you will get told to perform a three-point turn so make sure to check that there is no traffic and then you shall start your turn signal to the left turn the steering wheel full left keep going keep going use the maximum space here on the road because it's quite narrow it will be somewhere here now reverse check again okay all the way check check turn the wheels full right use the maximum space behind the maximum space behind will be somewhere here now D for drive check again you need to do a full check up and then turn the wheels full left all right that was the three point turn that you will be asked to do to perform and then to the left over here and the oncoming car is far enough so we you don't need to wait if the oncoming traffic it's clearly far enough all right be careful on this road now don't just drive too fast because there is a suddenly right hand duty coming up here so the mafia look again all right now i won't be performing too many mafia looks but uh, 
there are actually coming one more right hand duty so let's this time focus on the road oh children slow down if they are with the adults then it's a bit more safe all right we are checking for the right hand duty great up here we are turning right shark teeth and elevation and a bike lane so you have like three good reasons to be sure that you have to stop here and give way for traffic but don't stop if it's not needed so only because there is traffic coming clear and clear for the cyclist behind to the right follow the new speed limit which is 50 okay Hard cars on the right side after the traffic light. Do not position yourself on to the right as you normally would do. Keep furthest left in this situation because there are parked cars on the right side. Okay, traffic light going green. You should speed up. side road here will have duty to give way for you so no need to worry about a suddenly right hand duty okay traffic light we are turning right check behind give the turn signal position yourself all the way to the right turning lane and as we were telling you before you can Position yourself here parallel with the dotted line. Check cyclist. Okay, all clear. And then go. It's super important that you position yourself parallel so that you can show um, to the examiner that you know how to position your car. That is one of the big things that you must focus for your practical driving test. Speed limit 50. Okay. Do not drive unnecessarily too slow. Although, look ahead, there is a pedestrian crossing coming up. We are slowing down slightly, just like five to 10 less. And that is enough because there is no pedestrian and also because there's a clear view. We are speeding up to 50. And as mentioned earlier, that when there are bike lanes on the side here, it means that the side road will, will have to hold back for you they will have absolute duty to give way. Traffic light up here to Seltax right, turn left. Position yourself further to the left. And don't forget, these left turns always go in the middle after this stop line, after, and position yourself. Do not just quit, take a quick decision and go like the oncoming car. But now it's safe, it's clear. We are checking and we are going. So we don't recommend you on these left turns on traffic lights to just go school sign and pedestrians crossing. Let's have a slow speed here on approximately 35 to 40. Yeah, so on, on those left turns it's best to go in the middle and then stop and check if if it's clear for traffic and pedestrians and then you shall go all right you are now being directed you're not getting directions to go back again to the exam starting point bit narrow road here light can suddenly change so that's why reduce speed slightly the next traffic light, turn right. The distance you shall keep when you stop behind other cars is that you can see the tires clearly from the back and that's it. You should not keep bigger distance than that and also not less, but this is only when you're stopping is a little tip for you okay a little extra tip while stopping now so we will both be stopping okay let's keep moving so that we can see the wheels the the tires clearly and then we will stop here 
but try not to stop at too big distance either. And how much distance are, are we, how many meters are we supposed to keep when we are driving behind others in Denmark? Better than me. Should I, should I count? Okay, I, I, I think we should. So there's, a, there's a little way for you to get your license because in Denmark we are, we are trying not to bump on each other. <laughs> All right, getting parallel with the dotted lines, but they are not here. So you pretend they are there, okay? So you can draw them in your mind that you should not block for the bike lane. And that's why you should position before turning right. Okay, we are now getting really close to the end point. As you could see on this route, there was quite many narrow roads with a lot of hard cars, with a lot of poor visibility, with a lot of right-hand duties. So, um, we hope that this video can help you to be a little ahead hopefully before your actual driving test okay turning right and also poor visibility here look at this suddenly cyclists coming from behind kind of out of out of the blue that jogger is quite far yeah they are far we can make it okay coming back to the starting point as you know from our other videos we will turn left and then it's the uh, right hand duty that applies when you are in a parking area. Today we are lucky, not much traffic. And then follow the road, turn right over here. And then you will get told to choose any of these parkings in front. So let's just take the first one here, check behind, park. How do you know if you're coming straight with, with the lines as you check your side mirrors? The, the mirrors are showing you, oh yeah, the line is visible here. And yes, the line is also visible uh, on the right side. All right, so this is the time that the examiner will, um, will tell you to secure your car. And you have probably also seen that in our other video. Ja, du skal sikre bilen. Please secure your car. Ja. Yeah. Du skal slukke motoren. Turn off your engine. Um, yeah, my, en my engine is turned off already. Den er slukket. Nej, du skal slukke motoren. Motor. No, he, uh, he's saying you, you, you must turn off the engine. Uh, this is the way my driving teacher taught me because this is a modern Tesla car. That's how you secure the car. Det er min kørelærer, som har lært mig, at det er sådan man sikrer bilen i den her moderne bil, Tesla. Securing the car in the automatic is just that you press the button. This is like securing your car backslash turning off your engine. Okay, if it was the manual car, don't forget your driving teacher has already hopefully told you that you will put the stick on neutral and then pull your handbrake and then you will turn off the engine which is in many cars with the key but nowadays it will be with a little start and stop button okay guys um, thank you for watching once again and we hope this video could help you and you, are, you can always watch our other videos with the other maneuvers that we are showing you and the other driving test routes and um, we also recommend you to to write a comment if 
you would like us to make some some videos that, that you like to like us to make for you and to show you thank you bye bye